Today we're going to be having a look at burning key cars. As always, you guys can let me know in this in your comments down below, right down here, you guys can let me know, is this worth a buck? Now, I picked this up at the dollar store, I picked this up actually at Dollarama, and I paid two dollars for it. Not quite a dollar, but still close enough. Key cars. Well, I don't know if anybody maybe is in my age bracket. You grew up in the 80s. Maybe at some point you yourself had a key car. Some of my earliest memories of having toys, my parents actually bought me a key car. Actually, I think that's what it was called. I think they were called key cars. They might have been made by Hot Wheels for the life of me. I don't, I don't remember. But it was a black Trans Am. It had a little yellow key car. You squeezed the yellow, the orange key actually, and it shot the car out. Very similar here. So when I saw this at the dollar store, the Dollarama, I definitely wanted to pick it up. Can I also just say, I really love that car up the top corner there. If that was a real car, totally would buy that. If Spot had the money to be buying a Skull car. And on the back of the package, push key into the rear vehicle, press button to launch, and then car launches. Interesting that it says press button to launch and then car launches. What else would it really do? Press button to launch, car explodes. Probably not the greatest of cars. Oh, and hey, look what we got up here. We got like a little car carrying vehicle. Let's zoom into that. A little transport vehicle. Very Knight Rider-ish. The car slips into the back there, drives along, and then it deploys the car while it's driving. I always thought that was ingenious. This comes to us from Maisto. Maisto? www.maisto.com. What I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and we're going to get a better look at burning key cars. There's more to come. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. One thing about uh, die-cast cars, when you get them at dollar stores, uh, they always feel really, really flimsy. Uh, the top, the actual body of the car, is uh, die-cast. However, when you get to the underside, uh, it feels like it's plastic, and the tires as well are plastic. Oh, and on the side, burning key cars. On the side there, Stallion 6.1. This is apparently Stallone's car. A nice metallic green, too. We got a nice metallic green, some black striping on the side, black stripes on the top. If I could totally pull it off, Spot would do that with his car. My car is certainly not this kind of car, which I don't really know what kind of car this is. Almost looks like a Camaro. It really isn't, though. Grill on the front. There's a hole on the back. Oh, by the way, and also, it rolls. So if anybody that was concerned that it doesn't roll, right there, it rolls. There's a little hole on the back. You can see a spring. This key will go into that, but I mean, on its own, you could, if you use your imagination, you could pretend it has a jet propulsion back. So, you know, use your imagination. That's what it's there for. Might as well use it while you've got it. Here's the key. What does it say there? Fresh metal. Okay. Sure, whatever. It looks like a key, which is kind of neat. A step up, I think, from the 80s key cards, which would have just been an orange plastic shaped like this, but just solid orange plastic. Uh, when you put it in, you would actually squeeze and then it would shoot the car out. This one looks like it's a little bit different because when you take the key, put it in the back of the car, you're not actually going to squeeze this part here. Even though this, this red button here, or it looks like a red button, almost makes you think that you would, uh, you actually press this button up here. When you press the button, when you press the button, it shoots the key or shoots the car out of the key uh, via again that spring that's in there. Um, you're not going to probably gauge it from this set, this backdrop here, uh, but it actually travels at a pretty fast velocity and it goes pretty far. Um, I think this is really neat. Again, for me, maybe not for you, but for me, this has a little bit of nostalgicness to it because again, I grew up with. Hot Wheels cars and key cars. So this kind of brings back fond memories. I might think this is worth a buck. Perhaps you may not, though. If you like die-cast cars, though, this would certainly be right up your alley. 
Today we're having a look though at burning key cars. Let me know down below, is this worth a buck? Would you pay a buck for this? Pretty cool indeed. Nice. Uh, thanks for watching as you always do guys. Certainly stick around, there are more videos on the way. And uh, I think you'll, you'll have to excuse me, I think I'm going to go play a little more with this key car. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Woo!